Hey guys, this is Project coming at you with a look at the Hearthstone update, the upcoming changes that um, have been announced today on January 13, 2014. I got that right first try, yes. So the first thing that I kind of want to go over is regarding my microphone. Um, I, have a bl I have a black snowball mic, and in my recordings on XSplit, I've been noticing that the sound's been popping. So the two things I've been doing to do that, I've grabbed my wife's snowball mic, first and foremost, so it's right here. So this, I, I haven't even, like, I haven't even, like, sound checked it yet. I just, I just fucking plugged it in and ran. So we'll see if this video has any kind of popping sounds. Maybe I can, like, limit it to maybe the cable or the actual microphone. Um, I've also changed the audio quality on the stream to else to low, to lower quality. So hopefully that will kind of change it. But before we jump to that, the reason why this video is for the Hearthstone changes, right? So... I want to do a video about some of the changes, so kind of the changes that we are going to talk about today a little bit, or my thought process on, is Unleash the Hounds, Windrunner, Blood Imp, Defender of Argus, Pyroblast, Dark Iron Dwarf, Abusive, or Abusive Sergeant, yeah, Warsong Commander, Charge, and Novice Engineer, right? So the first change that was documented is Unleash the Hounds mana cost is now 2, which is down from 4. I think this is like, I think this was a buff, right? So, Unleash the Hounds was intended to give Hunters their own form of AoE to have synergy with other beast cards, but the old cost was too prohibitive. I feel that's okay. Um, I think you're going to see a lot more combos with, or a lot more synergy, like with things like uh, the Starving Buzzard or um, or the Scavenging Hyena. And I think it's just it's just a it's just a buff all around, which is a good thing. The Pyroblast mana cost is now ten. Yes. Fuck you, mage. Just take that shit. The co eight cost power blast made for an uninteractive experience where the mage only needed to do ten damage during the course of the game, then double power blast you for a little win. That's a bunch of crap, right? So at least you can get to ten mana, and at least have two more turns to live. So you've gone for like you actually have at least actually more than two turns. You have four turns to live because uh, the only way to get to ten mana is to save your coin. So yes, yes, eat that shit, mages. So, on to Warlocks. Blood Imp is now a 0-1. And now read Stealth. At the end of your turn, give another random friendly minion plus 1 health. So, it's kind of like the Young Priestess, except it's Stealth. It can't really attack. So, um, the Warlock has a lot of very strong 1-cost minions. I would agree. So, I think this is a... I think this is a good nerf in the grand scheme of things. Warsaw Commander has been reworked and now reads, Whenever you play a minion with 3 or less attack, give it charge. I'm a warrior, but I don't use the Warzone Commander. Because what people have been doing recently is they've been getting to like 10 health, throw down a Warzone Commander with like 8 mana, then Molten Giant, charge. Throw down a, a uh, Brewmaster, bring it back, throw it down again, punch you in the face. So it's like 16 damage a turn. You might be able to do that at least like 3 times. So that's completely been taken away. Um... Whenever you play a minion with three or less attack, give it charge. So it's literally, I don't know, I think it's going to be kind of a swarm kind of card. I don't think you're going to see a lot of it anymore. Charge, the spell, not the keyword, uh, has been reworked and now costs three mana. This card's new power reads give a friendly minion plus two attack and charge. So both of those cards were key components in one turn kill decks. I used charge with Alex Strasse and Gorehound in order to one turn kill people. Um... I don't like the charge mechanic. Like, um, I think it being zero mana was okay because it only impacted one minion. Um, and still, in order for me to do the the one turn kill kind of stuff, I had to set up things. So like, I had to get a gore how I had to have or seven damage on the board, and then putting Alex draws out and killing it. So I don't think like you could see it coming. I'm kind of sad about the charge change, but that's okay. Now these two changes, I'm kind of interested about. Abusive Sergeant and Dark Iron Dwarf have the same battle cry now. It's give a plus two, uh, give a minion plus two attack till the end of turn. So it's not a permanent buff. So I think that's, I mean, it stinks because the Dark Iron Dwarf was such a good card. You know, four for four, and you gave another minion plus two attack. But the downside was, if you were in a situation where you didn't have any friendly minions on the board, you either played it naked, which is fine, but if your opponent had minions on the board, you had to buff one of his minions, right? So it's it was kind of like, oh no, I wasn't able to do a lot with it. But now it just tells the end of the turn, allows you to get a little bit of damage boost or send something along the way, and it's still kind of a solid card. So I think the Dark Iron Dwarf will still be there. 
I I don't know how much it's going to change the abuse of Sergeant. But again, you play these cards to buff something and as they went into something. Defender of Argus is now a 2-3, down from 3-3. Three, three. So it, it still has the same mechanics, so the battle cry is still the same. Um, I think it take, taking it down to a 2-3, I think still people are going to use it and value it because buffing two minions 1-1 one, one is really, really strong. It's just not going to be as strong as his own naked. Novice Engineer is down, is now a 1-1, one, one, down from 1-2. This is something that a lot of people, including Trump, have kind of been kind of, I wouldn't say upset about, but it's something that caused a lot of ruckus, right? Because the Novice Engineer didn't do a lot of damage, but it traded very early on, at least with two minions. But nowadays, it could trade with almost anything. So I think what you're going to see is a lot of people try loot hoarders in their deck now, as opposed to these Novice Engineers. Um, similar to the reason for our Defender of Argus change, we want players to have an option of what cards they uh, put in their decks. So it's just kind of, it's kind of saying... This card isn't required anymore. You can put, or we want you to put other things in your deck. So, Rhinus Windrunner mana cost is now six. So, this was a legendary change up from five. And I saw a lot of people running this. I actually wish I had a Windrunner, but it's actually increasing its cost. So, it actually, the legendary effect actually justifies it. Um, it was a really, really strong card, five for five. And when it died, mind control minion. So, um, it was really, really strong. So, they nerfed a little bit, which is a good thing. So, uh, expert cards that are being changed can now be disenchanted for full cost. So, I'm going to look at my deck to see if I have any golden versions of these cards. I'm going to disenchant them for a shit ton of dust. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so, tell me what you think about these changes. I think they're okay. I think it's fine. I'm kind of mad about the warrior because now I don't really have a... I don't have a decent warrior deck once it actually kicks in. But, um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, also, let me know about the feedback about the mic. And if... You like the con, or if you like the video, click like. And if you liked the channel, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.